Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This week's tutorial is on this amazing Mom Life snakeskin tumbler. I thought this was perfect for the girl mom, boy mom, or mom of both. Most of the items used will be listed in the description box down below. Let's get started. Alright y'all, so we're going to start off in Silhouette Studio. I wanted to show you how I print out my water slide. I select A4 um, since that's the size of our water slide and I want to show the print border. And make sure you go into File and Print Settings and change it to A4 so that you don't confuse your printer. Now I'm going to make a rectangle here. Now I'm using a 32 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia and so when you divide that in half, it came to 4.725 in width. Um, because we're doing the 32 ounce plump, I do have to use two um, sheets of water slide for this project. If you're doing a 24 ounce plump, um, then you could probably just print a full sheet and wrap it that way. So I just went ahead and made sure my width was good and then I just did my height for the full page. Now the 32 plump goes down like 10.3 I believe so this was perfect. And then I went over to my um, brushes and my fill and I have a pattern in here already. If you don't know how to upload a pattern, you'll go down here to the left and hit patterns and then you will upload it here and it will show up in your um, library over here. So once I click the image, it is automatically going to fill what I have selected over here. Now I'm going to print this out and then for my second sheet, I am actually going to go to object and I am going to flip this horizontally so that the um, edges match exactly the way that I need them. Make sure, depending on your printer, that you choose the best print or the photo option. Once my water slide was printed out, I waited an hour and then I sprayed it five to six times with Rust-Oleum two times gloss clear. Now, when that was fully dry, the two longest sides of my water slide, I cut very, very close to the image and the top and the bottom, I just cut off a little bit. Now you're gonna to wanna to place a piece of tape down the side of your tumbler. This is a 32 ounce prepped plump from the Still Magnolia. I actually placed my tape on the top and then let the tape hang off of the table, which gave me the perfect straight line. Now, once your water slide is ready to go, mine took about 60 seconds before it was ready to be put on the tumbler. You wanna make sure that you line the edge up with the tape um, and you wanna make sure that you do this before you do anything else because if this is off at all, then the rest of your tumbler is going to be off when you go to place that second piece of water slide. So just keep that in mind um, as you are placing this. Um, also, um, you're gonna want to use a coffee filter. So my entire process of applying the water slide my coffee filter is wet up until the point that I have zero bubbles and zero water underneath the water slide. Um, I'm using a wet coffee filter. And once I get to the point where I'm like, okay, I don't see any water, I don't see any bubbles, then I get rid of the wet coffee filter and I go and use a dry coffee filter to dry it completely off. Um, this is where most people I think have problems. I'm getting a lot of questions on, um, you know, how do you do that so easy? Mine always tear. Try the wet coffee filter method. Let me know if it works for you. It is absolutely a lifesaver. So for my bottom here, I'm going to cut off some of this water slide before, um, I, you know, do my edges simply because I don't want a lot of this water slide underneath there. Um, I want all the water to come out and not get stuck in the bottom crease of the tumbler. So 
Once I'm done with this, I am going to wait an hour for this water slide to completely dry, and then we will be applying the second water slide to the other side. Now that it's been an hour, we're going to apply our second water slide to the other side of the tumbler. Now this part should be super easy, um, especially if you're using this size because we cut it to fit exactly to the tumbler. So I'm not taking off the other water slide or anything like that because it's water slide. It is okay if it gets wet. Um, so I'm just getting the edge wet and then I'm going to line up this pattern with the other one. This is why I told you guys to um, flip your image horizontally. And that way when you line up the second water slide here, it really looks like the pattern goes together. So once you have this edge lined up here, you will apply this water slide just like you did the other one with a wet coffee filter. And then once you know for sure that you have all your water out from underneath it and your bubbles, then you will go in with the dry coffee filter um, and you will dry off the entire thing. So once you get to this step, if you are comfortable doing so, you may go ahead and cut off the um, top here with your X-Acto knife. Um, if you aren't comfortable with that, wait an hour for it to dry and then cut it off before you add your two coats of Counterculture Facet. Now that we have two coats of Facet on our tumbler, I'm using the Rust-Oleum White Primer. And I found one of the creases that has a pattern in it and I'm just slowly um, adding the white to the tumbler. I'm going in spurts, holding my spray paint can about a foot away. Um, it is okay if you have overspray. I'm going to show you in the next step how you would take care of that issue. So just to make sure that you have it exactly where you want your decal to go. Now that we have the paint dry, it took about 20 minutes, we are going to take a paper towel and some acetone and we are going to wipe off any excess paint that may have gotten on the very back of our design. And we're also going to clean up the top and the bottom rims that are on the front where the design is going to go. Now, once I have all of that um, cleaned up, I'm just gonna go in circular motions with the paper towel, as you can see here, because I still want it to look like we kind of just threw paint on it a little bit. Um, and it kind of has that cool little fade look that I like. Um, so we just wanna make sure that we keep some of that. Now, please keep in mind, if you get to this step and you mess up something, or you don't like your spray paint at all, you can always wipe it off with acetone, allow it to dry, and then try again. This is why we put two coats of Fast Set on instead of one. Once you have this exactly where you want it, we're going to apply one coat of Fast Set to this tumbler, and then we're actually going to leave it overnight and wait until the next day um, to do the next step. So the reason why I waited overnight until the next step 
is because I wanted to make sure that the epoxy was good and cured. Um, because this bottom here, we are actually going to tape it off using this electrical tape, and then we're gonna saran wrap the rest of the cup, and we're gonna spray paint the bottom of this tumbler white, um, just because it's a little bit nicer than just staring at some weird shaped, you know, water slide on the very bottom of your tumbler. So um, if you don't wait for your epoxy to cure correctly, then you do risk pulling up your epoxy from your bottom coat, your previous coat. And we don't want that to happen since we spent all of that time laying this water slide and getting it as perfect as we did. Now that the bottom of our cup has dried from us spray painting it white, um, I did remove the saran wrap and the um, electrical tape immediately after I spray painted. We're going to go and apply our mom life image. Now, when you first print this out, it's going to look a little big. Um, my spray painted area that I did, um, I did my image five, high by I think it was 3.7 wide. Now when you print it out on water slide, it's gonna look super huge, but then once you get it on the actual tumbler, it's gonna fit. Um, so when you are doing this and you measure to um, size your decal to print out your water slide, please do not think that your image is too big. I almost threw this in the trash and then printed out a new one and it was not needed. Um, so just trust the process and everything will work out perfectly. Once I had the water slide on here and placed where I wanted it, I let it dry for one hour and then this tumbler took two final coats before we were finally finished. I absolutely love how this tumbler came out. It's perfect for girl mom or boy mom or mom of both because this snake skin is totally a neutral. It works with everybody. So if you guys decide to try this design, tag me on Instagram and TikTok because I would love to see your amazing creations. Huge shout out to my KS exclusive members. Thank you so much for your pledge. It means the world to me and my family. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also find me on all social media outlets, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.